Hey, what's going on out there, folks? Rooster here in Tennessee. Uh, today we're looking at a radio that is not up for sale, and I don't think any time in the near future that it's going to be up for sale, but uh, I uh, want to do a video on it because it's one of my favorite radios, and currently it needs some work done on it, so we're going to do a, a before and after type video on it, but it's the Sonar FS2340. Now, this is the uh, rare 40 channel uh, tube type radio made by Sonar. I do have the stock original microphone with this one. Um, everything appears to be factory on it. Uh, this can be changed to a four pin plug, which I may do. Uh, may end up getting that changed over. And uh, just a really good radio, one of the best tube type radios ever made. Uh, they don't give a lot of problems. Unfortunately, this one sat uh, for about three or four years. So, um, you know, I don't know if it had trouble when it started sitting or if it's got trouble because it sat so long. But um, it's got a few issues with it. Obviously, we'll show you here. Hello, hello, hello. We've got key down, but we've got no modulation, no power output. Uh, could be a tube. Could be something else. We're going to test all the tubes in it. Uh, we've got our, our display here, and you see it's got that little red dot on it. That is a common problem in these Sonar 2340s, but we're going to replace this display because it's also got some segments that are out and some segments that are trying to go out, some, some segments that are looking pretty weak and some segments that are all the way out on it. Now, our meter does work. Uh, it needs to be zeroed, and there's a zero control on the back of it. But uh, the radio receives, it receives fine, it keys up fine, it powers on, no smoke uh, when I turned it on, which is probably thanks to me putting it on a Variac. If you don't know what one of these are and you own tube type radios, you need to invest in one of these. Now this is just a Chinese made one that I got, um, so you can get some nicer ones out there, but uh, it goes from basically zero volts all the way up to 130 volts. And that, that, that keeps from you popping uh, resistors or anything, resistors, capacitors and stuff like that when you, when you power the radio on. I guess resistors go out too, but a lot of times when these old tube type radios sit, tube type amplifiers, um, things of that nature, when you power them on, you end up blowing a capacitor out um, along with other, uh, other components that can go with it. Now that's not to say that they don't need recapped anyway, but uh, you can keep from making a mess if you use this Variac. Now what I did when I turned this sonar on, um, I started at about, uh, I think it was 10 or 15 volts on this thing. And you see, you can, you can roll the voltage up manually if you guys aren't familiar with these. Um, there it is maxed out. But I started about 10 volts and I left it there for a little while and then I cranked it up to about 25 or 30 cranked it on up a little bit, cranked it on up a little bit. I let it sit for a while now. Now I don't do this, I don't power it on and then just let it sit for a few seconds, crank it up, sit for a few seconds, crank it up. I let it run um, at certain voltages for a while um, to make sure nothing's gonna pop. And since I did that on this sonar, um, nothing smoked on it, nothing popped on it, but we do have some issues with it here. So I'm gonna take the lids off of it and let you guys uh, take a peek at it. I was super excited to get this radio. Um, I got it from Gump, and it will not leave. I will not be selling this radio. There's not a lot of radios I collect anymore, but a Sonar 2340, I've owned one, owned one, and I wish I'd never got rid of the dang thing. I wish I'd have held on to it, but uh, we're going to hold on to this one. But give me a second. I'm going to pop the lids off of it and give you guys a look at the inside. All right, here's a look at the inside of it. It's not super dirty, but probably could use a blown out with some air, knock a little of the dust out of it. But uh, here it is, all the tubes and components you can see in it here. Uh, this little board to the left, I believe is the limiter board. If I'm not mistaken, it's, it's got a uh, board in it to, to limit it from over modulating. Now, I will probably end up bypassing that. I don't know, we'll try it not bypassed and then we'll bypass it and see what happens. But uh, it's been so long since I've owned one of these and I first found out about them in uh, my friend uh, Tram Doctor on YouTube, his videos. And I bought my first one off of him. 
Um, if you guys don't know Tram Doctor and you enjoy radio videos, um, be a subscriber to his channel. He's a uh, he's a good man. He has a lot of nice equipment, and uh, he may end up helping me out on this thing some. But uh, I'm pretty sure that board is the limiter board, and uh, probably end up bypassing it to get some super loud modulation out of this thing. <laughs> Give you guys a close up look at everything on it here. Looks like it needs the other screw put in. It looks like one screw's come out of it. But uh, here you guys go. Sonar twenty three forty. Good old loud relay in it there. They all do that popping in the speaker when you unkey them too. Uh, I'll probably end up, end up trying a Superstar 507 on this thing. The last one I had, I put a Sedelta power mic on it. And, man, that thing sounded like a million bucks. But uh, power output wise, I believe you can get these things up to about 15 or 20 watts peak. Um, mine's not doing anything right now. But that's it, guys. Sonar 2340. This is the initial video on it. Uh, a part two will come once I get it uh, ready. Um, get it repaired and, and get everything lined out on it and get it running at 100 percent i'm gonna run this thing on the main station uh cobra 1000 is usually all i talk on but i'm gonna hook this thing up and run it some just because it's got a phenomenal receive and uh these things talk like a million bucks and uh, hopefully sooner than later uh some of you guys will get to hear me out on the air on it but that's it, Sonar 2340. Hope you guys enjoy the video. We're going to have lots of videos coming up, uh, lots of equipment coming up for sale. So uh, be sure and stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoy, and I wish everybody uh, health and uh, happiness out there, especially during this time. I hope everybody's doing well. And, uh, hey, maybe you're getting to turn your radios on and enjoy some talk time while we're all stuck in the house. Y'all have a good one. See you.